Welcome back to Boomer's Playground. And today we're going to be going over coding exercise 41. We only have two more after this before we get into the next function um, section. I'm actually going to clean up my uh, website that I'm building and doing the videos on after I get through 43 and start uploading those. And then I'll continue on with section 21 and the challenges and exercises through the rest of the course. So um, let's get right into this one. Here we need to define a function, a uh, function called capitalize, and then uh, accepts one string param argument, um, and we return a new string with the first letter capitalized. So we're um, capitalize argument and return new capitalized string. All right. So we'll just go capitalize. We have our string. All right. Step one. And I, I did two steps in one. Sorry. As you as you're coming along, you'll start to do stuff like that. It's just not necessary to literally do them one by one. It's just good when you get stuck because then you can go back and be like, all right, well, I know I created the function, right? Did I do this part right? Did I? And that way you can kind of find, you can kind of um, get what you need to search a little more finite. Okay, so strings are immutable. So we can't simply change the first letter in the original string. We need to make a new one and we have to return that. Single out the first letter and capitalize it. Add that first letter to the rest of the original string sliced to omit the original first. So I'm going to go on a big limb and say sliced is a kind of a keyword here. So um, let's let's check what that is. So we'll do dot slice js. And that's on an array, but there's also one on a string, which is good. It extracts a section of a string and returns it as a new string, and it does not modify the original string. So, all right, so if we do slice and we just pass in a number, it looks like it just gives us from that point to the end of the string. And yep, so you'll see the beginning index, and then we can even say, you know, start here and end here, which is what they did there so okay so dot slice okay so i think we want to use that um so use dot slice and all we want is that first letter to be capitalized okay so let's let's think about this so dot slice returns a new string Okay, so we have, let's do new string. And we want the first letter, which will be that, right? So let's uh, trusty console. So we'll do const a equals stuff. And what's, oh, oh, a's already been, all right. Uh, we'll just do b instead stuff. Course. All right, so B of zero is going to give me S, and then B dot splice. And if I already have the first letter, I will really just need from the second index on, and it's slice, not splice. And you'll see we get from the T all the way to the end of the string, because remember indexes start at zero. So we'll capitalize this and then we can add this. So I think we should just be able to use concatenation. And oh, I think that should do it. Let's find out. Um, so we got the new string there. And then we're just going to return that. So let's see if that works. 
let's see what errors we get if it doesn't. Okay. Um, expected computer to be computer. And so we didn't actually capitalize the first letter. And that's because I'm a dum dum and I didn't do my T uppercase. So let's see if that helps fix it at all. And it does. Awesome. So we we just wanted the first letter of the word to be capitalized. So we literally just grabbed that first one, we made it bigger, and then thanks to the helpful hint right here, we do slice from the second all the way to the end because remember slice can take one beginning index and then if you only give it one thing it will go to the end of the string so um, that's pretty cool i bet we can probably just return this and um you can do you could do this solution that i'm going to do right now in either format either the es5 or es6 um, I'm just going to show, since I wanted to show you the ES6 arrow function way as well. So we essentially just do the same thing, except you actually have to use 0, not O, to uppercase, and we'll plus that dot slice, and we should still pass, but let's make sure. Ooh, and we did not. Okay. Um, Undefined is not a function. And then if we keep reading, that's not super helpful, but if we keep reading, we see evaluated str dot splice of one, and that's the same mistake I made before. It's slice, not splice. So reading the errors um, sometimes can help, sometimes it doesn't, but in this instance it did. And you'll see we did pass the test as well. So you know when you need to do things like this, sometimes you have to think and you have to use a couple different things in this case, we only wanted the first letter capitalized, and we needed the rest of it to stay the same. So there's a bunch of other ways we could have done this as well. Like we could have done, I mean, uh, upper first, and we could have done str0.2 uppercase, and then that would give us that upper, the big one, and then we could have just done upper first here, which would still be the uppercase version of that first letter. And we're still adding the rest of the string as it is. And that passes. Um, alternately, we could do rest of word and we could have done this and then up first and rest of word. And then that should also work. Bada bing. And then also we could have used string interpolation like I was explaining before of how like nice and convenient it is. Um, we could have also done back ticks and then the dollar sign, dollar sign. And we could have done upper first and the rest of the word, and this should still pass. And I even think we can probably do this entire thing in string template literals. So we could probably do str0.2 upper case, because again, this is all just JavaScript and we're allowed to do that when we use string template literals and we'll do one. I actually don't know if this will work or not. Let's find out. And that does work. And so that's kind of neat. So those are a bunch of different ways we could accomplish this. Um, none are right, none are wrong. As long as the test passed, you should be fine. But I just wanted to show you a couple different ways that you can accomplish the same task. So I hope you guys learned something today. Um, if you have questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll catch you on exercise 42.